Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, the saddest bitch you know, coming to you live from her disgusting bedroom. Where else would I be? Shout out to, to TFIL, Elvin, Elton Casty. You might ride or die, baby. You might ride or die. So today is going to be a boxy charm unboxing. I've already opened the box because I want to try the things on as we're going. You know, you know, you know. So I'm sorry that it's already busted open. I already got the card out. Fuck it. Like, I'm, I'm not a beauty guru, guys. <sighs> Okay, so the, the theme of this month's box is uh, sweater weather. And when you get a boxy charm, you get a list of all the products you have in the box. And it tells you the retail price of all the items that you have in the box. Let's see what we got. What do we got? What do we got? There she is. There's our box. I know you guys want to see into the box. Let's just take this big guy right here first. Um, this is, um, wow. Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. Cover FX is a really high-end brand, you guys. Like, they, have, they make, ex they make expensive shit. Let's open her up. Oh, the little flaps tell us things. Uh, shake well before use. Um, Spanish. Ooh, it's in a hollow bottle. Can you guys see it? Can you see the hollow? Are you a hollow sexual? There she- oh. That lip. It sounds like fucking spray paint. I love it. I feel like root soups. Okay, well, I'm not going to use this. Obviously, I'm not going to use this right now because it's setting spray. We'll use that last. But, you know, I just I just happened to see that first. Okay, so next, we have this. And this is, oh, by the way, the Cover FX setting spray. It says, uh, a quick drying setting spray that sets makeup for all day wear oh, and imparts instant all-over illumination. It's alcohol-free, so it's not drying on the skin. Perfect for all skin tones and types. And that retails for $31. Okay, so next, this is... <sighs> Sorry. This is a uh, um Laka L L A Q A and Co Cloud Lips. An airy matte lipstick that provides full coverage but feels as light as a cloud. This highly pigmented lipstick has a matte finish for long lasting fluffy pouty lips that stay put. And this retails for $17. Yeah, this is this is Storm. The shade I got is Storm. I'm really mad at lipstick, you guys, so don't make fun of me. Oh, she deep. Look at that. Sexy. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try, I'm gonna try to make this as the least bit embarrassing as I can. Oh my- oh wow. That's very pigmented. I'm just not so good at drawing in the lines and I just I look like a mustache. I just look- I just feel like I have really bad lips for um, lipstick. I don't know. I'm, you guys probably agree. Don't- don't tell me if you agree. Ew. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, that that was not that was definitely outside the line. I'm gonna bring you guys closer up to me so you can see it, but um, yeah, it's not very good. I think this is probably a color that um you're gonna want to use with a lip liner because I can. I mean, it might just be my poor makeup skills, but uh, I can tell it's gonna. She's gonna be a bleeder. She's a bleeder. Bring you guys closer to me. You see that? Yes, I have a pimple. Fuck off. Ugh. <sighs> They're like, it, it is like really pillowy feeling, like, like I don't know how to explain it. It feels like cushiony. It feels pretty comfortable so far. Let's, let's, let's move on to what else is in the box. Uh, next, we have these, uh, packages here. They got lips on them. These are KNC Beauty All Natural Collagen Lip Inf- or KNC Beauty All Natural Collagen Infused Lip Mask. I probably should have used this first. I never had a lip mask. Fancy Beauty Collagen Lip Masks. Fit the uh, retail price is fifteen dollars. Innovative jelly mask for your lips that hydrates, moisturizes, and plump your pout with natural ingredients. Maybe we'll do it at the end of the video. Okay, so the next thing in the box, we have this. This I'm so excited about, you guys. You get a lot of brush brushes in um, subscription boxes. Like, you may not get it every time, but like, I'd say maybe like one out of every three boxes or bags that I get. I get brushes. This is actually a quad. A quad of brushes by Luxie. Luxie Beauty Quad Eye Travel Set. Uh, retails for $32. Take your eye game on the go with this quad travel set created with handcrafted synthetic brushes. Let's, let's take Gander. Oh my god, you guys. Luxie brushes are really nice. You get them, you get Luxie brushes a lot in BoxyCharm. So we've got what looks like like a sh like a shader type of brush, but like you know they feel very soft. I mean you can definitely tell they're synthetic, but they're still soft. This is like a an all over color. I <laughs> maybe <laughs> that's what I would use it for. Again, I'm I'm I am by no means an MUA. Okay, so that was the first brush. The only thing I'm and like these are really short brushes, and like my my brush holders are really long. 
So like, that's kind of a bummer. They're gonna get lost. Okay, the next brush is, um, I mean, it's pretty similar to the first one I showed you. Like it's, it's thinner, but flat, you know, but it's shorter, stubbier. I mean, a makeup brush is a makeup brush though, shit. If you, if, they, if somebody wants to give you makeup brushes, you don't fucking question it. I love getting makeup brushes, mostly because I hate cleaning mine. Um, disgusting. We're actually, we're gonna use these brushes in a minute, by the way. Then we have, oh, this is like a, like a stamper type of brush. So this is like, one, like, you know, like a little stamp, stamper brush. I mean, like, you could use this for, like, liner. Oh, I like that. I never, I actually don't have any brushes like this, so that's actually cool. And then the last brush we have looks to be, um, an angled brush. I don't know, you could use this in your crease. Oh, that feels like a nice crease shade. Or, <sighs> A nice crease brush. I mean, you could do makeup. Listen, there may be things that makeup brushes are intended for, but honestly, like you can use them for whatever the fuck you want. You can use them however you want, as long as it, you think it looks good and you're happy with it. Who gives a fuck? Okay, I just unboxed these and I've already lost two of them. So annoying all the time. <sighs> Is this real life? Did I really lose these? Do I am not I found one in my crotch. Guys, what did you do with them? I lost the little stamper one. Where is she? I'm sorry, little stamper brush. For whatever I did to hurt your feelings. You have to go mint. Guys. Okay, well, whatever. We have three. That's enough to do an eye look, I think. I don't know what I really... No, no. I want to find it. <sighs> did I put it in a bag? Ew, why is it wet in here? Hello? What is that? What's wet? Oh. It was from a makeup wipe that I used earlier. I guess we're only using three guys because I am a dumbass who lost the fourth brush. <sighs> okay, so the last thing in the box I'm so excited for is this. This is um a Winky Lux kitten palette. Guys, mm, kitty. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, he's got like a ball sack face. That's adorable. Why don't I just ruin everything? Why do I even try? Why? Don't wanna try, don't wanna try, don't wanna try no more. Did it roll? Ew. Oh. My God, I I, I I stuck my fingers like a centimeter underneath my nightstand and this is what I grabbed out of it. I'm a fucking monster. Okay, well anyways, this is what the palette looks like. And he, come on, bitch, on the inside. Oh, it's so cute. I actually love this. I guess I could try to do some swatches. Oh, okay. They feel very soft. They don't have um, shade names. That's just like a bone color set. That shiny pink one's really pretty though. That was this one. I'm doing the top row first, so go into this nice like transition color shade. I have such fat arms. Like look at this. Like look at this loaf of bread. Can you see this line where the fat hangs? Fat grandma arms. Okay, now we're gonna go to the second row. Ah! I'm gonna start with this one and we're gonna move our way down to the gold. It's like, um, okay, so this, that's what that one looks like. This is like, I, I got one of these, like, in my Ipsy bag. It's like that brown that, like, shifts to green and blue, kind of. Oh, these look really pretty. You guys, I'm excited for this. This middle one is like a deep teal. Oh, it looks a lot more gray than I anticipated. Oh, she's got glitter in her. This one, um, is really glittery. You can't, you can't tell. You got the gold shade. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That's actually fucking beautiful. That's... Woo! Woo! Fuck me up. Now we're on the bottom row. Starting with the one that's fucked up. <laughs> we're gonna work our way down to this uh, kind of like grayish, blackish, brownish. It's a pinky swatch. <laughs> Probably looks stupid. Also very pretty. It's like a, it's kind of, it's like brown, but it has like kind of a purple shift. You can't really tell on camera, but it's really pretty actually. Got dirty fingers. Okay, two shades left and then we'll get to doing an eye, an eye look. I didn't even plan out what I was going to do <laughs> for my eyes. Great. We're just going in blind. Okay, that one's a little bit, you kind of have to, I think you have to build up the pigment a little bit. Or I'm just swatching really stupid. <laughs> yeah, it looks really patchy. It doesn't look good on my arm. Let me do it. Actually, you know what? Let me do this with my right hand and then we'll go on the other arm. My other fat grandma arm. It didn't really help. That Okay, that color's a little bit patchy. I don't know if I like that one. That's this purple one down here. I was actually excited to have that, but it looks really patchy. Maybe it'll look different on the eye. I don't know. And then the last color we have is this, like, this one. Whoa, I grabbed a lot. Okay, 
Not bad. She's definitely pigmented. I'm like just covered in swatches. <laughs> okay, so what kind of eye look should we do? First of all, oh my god, you guys, this is like bleeding really bad. Cause like I didn't I, I didn't apply it good I didn't apply it well at all. I'm terrible at lipstick, but like it wasn't that bad. So first we're gonna go and we're gonna use like that stubby one, the stubby flat one. And I'm gonna go into this like bone color just to set the eye primer. Well, I think I'm definitely, I'm gonna take the, um, the slanted one, and I'm gonna dip into this color, <laughs> color right here. We're gonna use that as our transition shade. Good, I actually prefer powdery. <laughs> Ugh. I actually <laughs> prefer powdery shadows. You blend and blend and blend. Blending is the secret. New for Melissa Ashley. Girl, you better back the fuck up before you get smacked the fuck up interrupting me during my damn video. Okay, now what? Um, And I'm like thinking of things in my head, but I'm thinking that the execution is going to be pretty poor. I'm actually going to use that crease brush again. And this might seem crazy, but I'm actually going to use this. I'm just going to use like a little bit of it in the crease just to like give it some more depth. That actually like blended beautifully. Like it didn't, I thought, it, I was scared it was just going to go on like a black stripe, but no, these are actually blending very well i think i'm gonna take this 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 color right here i think i'm gonna pack that on like the inner third and the middle third you know I'm trying to say that in a way that doesn't sound stupid but i i don't think it worked okay i mean listen like you know what it is more like like it looks super like it's it is really like shiny but i feel like this is more of like a shadow topper because i don't feel like there's much pigment to it I feel like it's just kind of like, it just adds a shift to whatever eyeshadow you're already wearing. Now I used, I used the bigger uh, flat brush, you know, to put that on. I'm actually, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use that one in the outer third of my eye. Kind of work that into the crease just a bit. I mean, okay. I feel like I look like Jessica Rabbit sometimes, but like not in a good way. Like Jessica Rabbit's fat ant. It's not bad. They're not the most pigmented shadows I've ever used, but like they blend really nice. They're really soft and it's just, it's... It's a fucking adorable palette, especially if you're someone like who's just trying to build a makeup collection. To get like little palettes like this is a place to start, you know. For beginners, it's awesome. And I'm obsessed with these ball sack cats. Look at them. Look at that sink. Okay, so the next thing to do would be to use this um this cover effect setting spray. Oh, 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 that's actually beautiful. Do you see that? Oh, that's a beautiful mist. That's that's <laughs> I just inhaled some of that. Oh wow. That is a really nice mist. Okay, now I said at the end of the video we were gonna try these lip masks. So I'm gonna take off this fairly poorly applied lipstick that you guys have had to look at throughout the entire video. I apologize. Woo! Jeez Louise! Girl! Control yourself. She fucking came for me. Do you see that? Okay, so now that I <laughs> took the lipstick off and most of the foundation around it, let's open up one of these lip masks. Apply. Oh, here's the instructions. Apply to clean lips for 15, 15 to 20 minutes. Let's, just, let's see what they are. Ew. <laughs> oh my god. How am I even going to get this out without breaking it? <laughs> like, it's literally jelly. Like goo. Wow. Ew. Like all this serum in there is poured onto my legs. It doesn't smell bad. I don't know which way is what. Does that look like a, a mouse? I feel like this is going to make me break out. Like it's getting all around my skin. This is huge. Like who the fuck's mouth is this big? Let me set a timer. <laughs> I look like I did in first grade. In first grade, I, um, you know, like when you suck on cups, like to make them stick to your face? Well, I sucked on one so hard that I got a hickey around my the entire perimeter of my mouth and I couldn't go to school for like a week. What the fuck? Stay on. It doesn't like to stay on even when I'm not talking. This looks really dirty. We're gonna do it for 15 minutes because I can't do this for 20. <laughs> I think this is upside down. <laughs> Maybe I can hum some songs and you guys can guess what they are. <laughs>
I feel like I look like Reba McIntyre. Just some night when I'm last and down in Georgia. <laughs> Doesn't even look like I'm singing. This CC cream that I used, look at how oily my forehead is. And look at this. It like just comes off. So just an update, the CC cream I use in my um Ipsy video, um, I don't know if I care for that. Maybe if you have dry skin, me trying to give you serious beauty advice while I have a literal labia on my mouth. Okay, time's up. <sighs> that Oh my god, that feels so much better. I definitely feel moist. Come on, moist. Okay, guys, that about wraps up this video. My boxy Sherm unboxing. Don't copyright me, Kathleen Lance. I love you. I'm sorry I said that. It's just It gets so hard not to say boxy Sherm if you watched Kathleen Lights. You know what I'm saying? But that about concludes it for today. Until my next unboxing. But I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe because I'm really sad. Nobody likes me and I'm fat. I will see you later, you beautiful bunch of motherfuckers. Thank you. And I will see you in the next one.